hi guys hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video I'm going to talk about conditional access app control and we are going to define a session policy wherein we will make sure that the users should not be able to download files on an untrusted device okay so if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about the process of implementing a session control wherein the users are not allowed to either cut copy or paste any information from a specific session whereas the scope of this video will be not allowing the users to download any content apart from that we are also going to discuss what are the connected applications and what is scoped deployment okay now this will be a complete uh, lab demo session itself because now we theoretically know how exactly conditional access app control works okay so this is my browser where i have signed into portal.azure.com as well as to mcas portal which is portal.cloudappsecurity.com okay now before i talk about how to create the session policy there is a very important step that you have to do and for that just click on this third icon and then click on connected apps okay now click on this icon and if you see office 365 option getting listed in this particular list okay then just click on that and connect office 365 okay now the question comes why it is required and what it is actually going to help you with so in the last video when we were trying to scope the policy to a specific user we were not getting the user listed in our filter right now the reason behind that is MCAS instance was not directly integrated with Azure AD now what do I mean by this that see when we talk about Azure AD it's the database that is holding all the entities right it's the Azure AD where all these users and all these groups exist right but in order to query this information there should be a connected instance between MCAS and Azure AD now by default uh, if you're logging into MCAS portal and anything when it comes to authentication would directly go to Azure AD that's a different integration altogether any Microsoft online service will go to Azure AD for authentication but I'm talking about the capability wherein you can actually scope policies to different user for that there is a connection that has to be established and that's why Office 365 app connector is available okay so once you will connect Office 365 then you can click on these three dots and then click on edit settings okay now make sure there are two options over here which are enabled the very first one is Azure AD management events this will be selected by default the moment Azure AD gets connected and then make sure you select this option which says office 365 files because if these options are not connected then you will not be able to create policies which are going to scan your entire tenant just to be aware of everything that's going on in office 365 you can actually select all of these options okay now this is something which is actually going to help you with scoped deployment itself now what do i mean by this that let's say you are evaluating or you want to route these policies to a specific group altogether step number one will be for sure uh, you know creating the scope in the conditional access policy itself so let's say i can go to my conditional access policy okay and let's say this is the policy for which i will be routing the traffic to mcas and i can scope my users here but the fact is that the scoping of users can also be done from mcas portal and that's the reason if you'll click on setting and then again click on setting there will be an option of users group okay now what does this helps in a nutshell that it actually helps you to query a specific group altogether and then use that group in defining all the policies okay so if I'll click on settings once again I'm sorry you have to click on users group okay and as you can see I'm getting this option of import user group now the moment I will click on this I can select my app 
Now, as you can see, I'm getting this option of Office 365, which in a nutshell is going to query the groups that are created in Azure AD. Similarly, if you have any other connected application, you can actually import group information from those applications as well. So if I'll click on this, it will give me the option to select a group altogether, which should be imported, and that can be used as a filter in one of my policies, okay? So now I'm going to click on Cancel. So this was something which is very important and it was not there in the last video wherein we were not able to apply policies to a specific users altogether. And this typical process of importing groups from different application is actually termed as scoped deployment. Okay. So now as we know uh, that conditional access app control has a dependency on conditional access itself. So what I'll do is I'll click on new policy and here I'm going to say block download okay and let's say if I'm going to apply this to exchange now I'm taking example of office 365 application but any application that exists in your Azure Active Directory that is working on either SAML or OpenID Connect can be used for all these features which I am demonstrating okay so I'll click on users and group and now I'm going to select SSO okay and then i'll click on select in the cloud app section i'm going to say only apply this policy for exchange okay so it's exchange perfect now where it says conditions here i'm going to exclude hybrid azure ad joined and compliant devices and i'll click on done now i'm not going to make any change in the ground section when i'll go to sessions and here I'm going to click on this option which says conditional access app control and here I'm going to select this option which says use custom policy okay now the reason why I'm using use custom policy is something which I have already explained in our last video okay I'll switch on this policy and then I'll click on create okay so now the first step is completed that means conditional access policy is created which will route the traffic to MCAS endpoints but the fact is that for this particular user or for this use case there is no policy which exists in your MCAS portal so if I'll apply a filter and I'll go to session policy this is the same policy that we have discussed in our last video okay so now I'm going to click on create policy and then I'll click on session policy and here I'm going to select this template which says block download based on real-time content inspection okay now we are not going to uh, do any content inspection so I'll simply say block download let's say for exchange okay on uh, non-compliant devices or let's say on untrusted devices okay devices and I'm just going to keep it like this and the severity you can select either low medium or high let's keep it high and in the category now this is something you know which you can change but think about like this when you are selecting a template the category that you are getting out of the box is somewhere related right so basically if you're not allowing the users to download it's more over related to DLP itself but sharing control at times also makes sense so depending upon your category or if you want to change it for sure this is the option which will help you okay so I'll keep it simple I'll keep it DLP itself now here exactly you see I'm getting multiple conditions if I'll select block activities then I'm again going back to our previous policy wherein actually I can apply activity filters over here and that policy will get applied to those activities right but since our use case is control file download I'll select this option okay and then I'm saying that if the user is coming from a device which is not either Intune compliant or hybrid Azure AD joined apply this policy but the fact is that we can also scope this policy to different applications right so here I'm going to select exchange online okay now we also have to scope this policy to a specific user then I'll go to user I'll say name and here I'm going to type in my username now this feature was not available in our last video because office 365 connected application was not querying all the information for Azure AD okay so make sure you have completed the connected app configuration as well okay now here it says uh, 
the file inspection filters okay so we are not going to inspect anything so as of now i'm just going to say none okay just keep this particular section as none for this testing but for sure i'm going to talk about how content inspection works but as of now for this demo just keep it as none then you can say block and also notify the user by email and then i can say a custom message which says let's say downloading documents on untrusted devices is not allowed by concepts work okay that's all now you also see this option of protect now this requires aip integration which i will talk in upcoming videos but as of now just keep these two options selected so that you end up you know evaluating how exactly the feature is going to work okay then if you want you can send this alert as an email to your global admin or to your SOC team and then as a text message these are the same options which we have covered in our last video so that's all what I'm saying that I'm going to control the file download activity and it should be controlled in those devices which are not compliant or hybrid Azure already joined if the user is using exchange and let's say the user is this one then he or she should not be able to download any content that's all I'll click on create okay now once this policy gets created now what I can do is I can sign in with my user on a different browser session and see what will be the user experience okay so this is my another browser session so I'll just sign out and close this so that we should get the latest policies affected I'll again launch a different instance of my browser and I'll go to portal.office.com now there is one more thing which you guys can see that if I'm going to portal.office.com there is no CASB redirection that's happening right because this console is a different app altogether right but if I'll click on exchange the traffic will get routed to my tenant that means the endpoints that are specifically required for my tenant to work in a nutshell okay so as you can see as of now I'm logged in to portal.office.com and then I clicked on Outlook okay but for some reason this route is not happening okay now I can uh, you know easily say this because this particular link is not getting customized okay so let's come back to our portal ones and just verify whether the policy has been scoped properly or not okay so I'll go to session policy and then I'll click on the second policy which we have just created and here we have said that if the user is using exchange perfect this is the user and it should not target Intune compliant and hybrid devices okay so we'll just sign out once more and we'll close the browser so that there should be no active cache which is available and then we'll again relaunch the browser and I'll go to portal.office.com and I'm signed in again okay I'll click on Outlook perfect you can see this time the redirect happens and as you can see mcas.ms the same endpoints which are used for access control and session control policy is getting highlighted over here okay so now if I'll click on this particular option or this particular email which has an attachment and if I will try to download this let's see what happens okay the expected behavior is the download should be blocked as of now it has just opened this one but if I'll click on download it's for some reason you okay so there was a redirect but as you can see the download was blocked okay and if I'll try to open this particular file you can see that this file was blocked since it is not allowed okay and if I talk about the custom message itself as you can see this is something which has been blocked by concepts work this is the same message which we have added in our policy okay so this particular policy type which I have shown right now this feature can be used with any application that exists in Azure Active Directory but that application should use either SAML or OpenID Connect these two protocols are required okay so now 
This was all about knowing how you can implement a block download condition for an application. So let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video. We have discussed about how you can have session policy implemented for not allowing the users to download a file. What is the purpose of connected application? Now this is something uh, which I would like to highlight again that this is exceptionally important for you to make sure you have connected all these applications. Now there is a lot more information which are actually queried through the public APIs of these applications which you will connect from here. That's a different thing altogether. That is something which I will cover in a lot more details. But as of now to begin with conditional access app control and all the policies that we are going to create, make sure this app is connected. Okay. And then we also discussed about scope deployment wherein I have clearly mentioned that you can click on settings and then click on user group import the respective group which you want to import from different applications and then you can scope your policies based on the group that you are importing okay so in the next video we are going to talk about how you should prevent download with content inspection so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time